So today, December uh, 25th, Christmas Day, my wife is working and unfortunately we all have something in our lives when it pertains to work where you can't get out of it. But I have a little time and I want to do a little modification here on my truck. And, and it's basically, this is something I hate every time I go to the gas station. You take this cover and you're, you're doing this. You're trying to find a niche to put this to hold like that. So I just recently bought what they call a gas hole. <clears throat> and it looks something like this. What is this thing? And basically it sits in here and what you do is you put your cap in here. It'll hold your cap in place. So what I'm going to do is remove the screw here and I've already loosened it but I have to tell anyone out there who's going to be doing this to be sure to use the proper screwdriver otherwise you'll end up stripping the screw and then you're going to run into some problems. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to move that over. This has a little little ridge there. It slides right in so. And I'm going to select this piece out. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to change the screw up. I'm going to put a stainless steel uh, pan head versus the Phillips screwdriver. This is an Allen key screw. It's a little hard trying to do this with my one hand holding it and let's see if I can get this screwed on here properly. I think I got it there. Come on. There we go. Did I get it? I'm going to make sure I don't cross thread this. Let me stop here a second okay. and take a look. So I got it on. I had to kind of play around with it. It's hard to try to put the Allen key with it, but it's basically you got to play a little bit with it because it, it brings it brings this piece a little bit out, but it does work. And basically now when I go fuel, I just take my cover out and just stick it in there like C. Like so. And that's it. Easy as that. You don't really have to go all the way in. But it holds it. And that's a quick modification. That's how you haven't uh, be playing around with stringing it on the, uh, on the hook. Um, a couple months ago I did uh, some work inside of the truck. And I wanted to just give you an update on that. Let me pull this camera out of here. And I just wanted to say that everything is still working well. Um, you know, my lights, floor lights work well. Uh, and I have no issues with it. I also added... Uh, A chrome uh, tailpipe piece which I didn't have last time I went over I said I was going to do a small modification on it and, uh, and that's about it I haven't done anything else on this truck except for that one big job that I did I added the uh, glove compartment light in here and that's been working really well here's the light bulb here um, and then I put in the an extra dual charger in there, USB, uh, and everything's been working well. Uh, there was another thing I wanted to go over on this, which I fi kind of finally figured out, and is sending text out of the radio, which is I'm not gonna say that Intune is the better stereo per se. Um, 
but uh, I found that this can actually read your text back while you're driving and uh, and you could also send out text while you're driving and how you go about that is you uh, basically hit the phone icon here you have an incoming message and see I just got a message so I will hit this button read my message read my message so. you have new messages from Ellen Coolis Michael Ribbit and Chris Salsoriano Ellen Coolis said Merry Christmas with a Christmas tree emoji would you like to reply no next message you have an incoming message Michael Ribbit sent an image would you like to reply no Chris Salsoriano said, Jose, same to yours too. You have Would an you incoming like to reply? message. No. Okay, that was the last message. So that's how basically how this works. Um, and if I want to send messages, I have one that my wife sent. I can just hit this here. Again, hit this button. Send a message to Jofania. Send a message to Jofania. What do you want to say? I miss having you here. Your message to Jofania Ribbit says I miss having you here. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. And it's pretty neat that I have this option on this truck. I didn't have this on my Tundra. Uh, it avoids me having to play around with my phone. Because I do it all through the the radio itself. Um, you have an incoming message. So I have another message. I want to know what is I can either read it off of the screen by hitting read. But if you're, you have an incoming message. if you're driving, it's not going to allow you to do that because of safety. But you can come into the icon again of the phone. You hold it. And this icon comes out the, on, the, on the radio. <clears throat> and you'll say, read my message. I don't see an app for that. You'll need to download one. Well, I word this wrong. Read my text. Oh, I got to go back to it. So I gotta wait for the beep. Read my text message. Euphania Ribbit sent you an image and said, come over and spend some time with us. I know, I'm sorry. I wish I was home with you. Would you like to reply? No. Okay, so, no other messages. So it's as simple as that in, 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 in the uh, Intune. Um, I'm not going to say that this stereo system or the Entune system is, is the best because it does have its glitches and uh, sometimes it doesn't do what you want it to do. But when it works, it works well. But when it doesn't work, it doesn't work well. But at least you have, at least I have, and maybe some of you guys out there who have the same thing in their Tacomas, you have that option with the uh, vehicle. Now, to make phone calls, you can either do it, I believe, off of the phone uh, icon or the voice uh, icon on the steering wheel. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, it works fairly well. That was one of the things I needed to go over. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with the truck. The truck uh, meets all my my needs and requirements. Um, and I hope to have it for many years. Uh, definitely will take care of it in a sense. But there will be some modific modifications down the road when I get some time. Uh, you know, I like to do something a little more, like beef up the suspension and get... You know, uh, better tires than what it came from the dealer. But, 
you know, right now I, I can't do that. There's too many other things on my plate. Well, anyway, guys, stay tuned and um, please subscribe to the channel. I will have some more uploads on my Tacoma as I get along with uh, doing more modification on it.